History repeats itself as two story franchises clash. The Orlando champs are looking to repeat, but their opponents have aspirations of their own. For all of you here tonight, watching across the country and around the world, we have four teams, two matches. This is the one and only Doritos Saturday Night. When I catch fire, the other team should just set down their controllers because there's nothing they can do. Yeah, I still have not accomplished what I want to do. I want to be the best. I want people to know that I'm the best of this field game. I always have the same drive to win. I'm just a really competitive person. I hate losing and I hate not winning. Here comes Ogre 2 to clean up the kills. Five of boss is his teammate. Oh. And there's the beat up. Hysteria heating up with the sniper, Scott. There it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. Instinct is playing at the top of the game. You don't want to miss this. It's MLG Saturday night. Welcome to Doritos Saturday Night here from Columbus, Ohio, our second stop of the 2010 MLG Pro Circuit. I'm Chris Puckett, and joining me tonight, as always, Scott and DMAC. Fellas, how are you feeling? Oh, I've had an incredible Saturday, Chris. We've had incredible matches on the front. We watched Final Boss and Instinct go to, or, yeah, Final Boss and Instinct go to a Game 5, and there's been a lot of upsets today. Yeah, there really has. Speaking of those upsets, DMAC, talk to me about it. What happened? I, I really do. Classic. Beat, losing to Illuminati in the winner's bracket round two. Nobody could have expected that. And then Carbon. They didn't even place in the top ten in Orlando. And now they look at themselves solidifying a top six position trying to win that winner's bracket finals. And Scott, two teams that aren't in the winner's bracket anymore. Triggers down a straight rip. And are you surprised? Uh, not really, Chris. I predicted this. I didn't expect our 2009 Juggernaut team to come here and perform. I expected them to do a little better. But just as I thought, they're in the loser's bracket quite early. Gotcha. Well, guys, we saw an awesome matchup today earlier. We saw final boss down 2-0 against Triggers Down. Scott, like you said, five-game series in that. They came all the way back, ended up edging out Triggers Down in an amazing game five. Then we saw Instinct pretty much have a dominating performance over Status Quo. We'll be seeing both of those teams tonight, and we got to talk about our matches. Later tonight, we'll be seeing Instinct face off against Believe the Hype because Believe the Hype knocked out straight Rippin, and then we'll be seeing Carbon face off against Final Boss. So Man, I can't wait for that match up there, Chris. I mean, that's history in the making right there. I lived that. That's my career is Carbon versus Final Boss, uh, and I'm just excited for it. How about Ogre 2 never beating Walshy in tournament play? He finally has his chance here. Let's see if he could do it. All right, guys. Well, let's get right to it. Match number one, Carbon versus Final Boss. And right now, Farouk, the man, is down on the floor for our team introductions. Welcome, we are live here on the Major League Gaming main stage here in Columbus, Ohio, getting ready for match number one. Let's meet the teams. Coming out on the blue side, we've got Carbon. Let's hear it for Walshy, Nated, Defy, and Best Man. And they're being coached by Nezer. And coming out on the red team, it's final boss. Let's hear it for Pistola, Ogre 2, Fear Itself, and Victory X. And they're coached by Killen. I know it's been a long time. And here we go, Carbon, final boss. It's time to lock it up. All right, so a historic matchup here, guys. Final boss, Ogre 2 in his hometown, facing off against his former teammate, Walshy, who is now on Carbon. This is going to be an amazing match for us tonight, guys. But first off, I want to talk about final boss. What are we going to see from them tonight? We're going to see a more aggressive final boss. In their match against Triggers Down, you notice how they were quite passive the first two games, and then they really turned it up. This team knows how to win, and they're going to. 
Final Boss. I expect them to really come out and make adjustments. That's what Final Boss does best. When you saw them earlier today in the midday broadcast, they were down 2-0 against Triggers Down, and then they started to really tighten it up, take away power weapons. Final Boss could take any, take, they could take the momentum out of any team. All right, well, Ogre 2, you saw him come out here feeling really confident, had his arm over Pistola. It looks like Final Boss is feeling good. And right now, down on the floor, we have Julie Alexandria with Ogre 2. Thanks, Bucket. Now, earlier today, you guys really struggled against TD, but you guys came out with a 3-2 victory. So what did you have to do to turn that around? Uh, I don't know. We were just playing really slow and passive at first, and uh, once our shots started warming up and we got more confident, uh, I think our team just got more aggressive naturally off of that. Now you have a brand new player on your team, Pistola. Statistically, one of the best players in the league. Nice job, dude. So how has he changed your team and what has he been able to bring to your team? Uh, he just frees us up a lot more. Um, we, we all know how to play and we like to do objective, but sometimes uh, these guys get caught slaying a lot more. But uh, now with him on the team, he just he stays alive so well and he kills so well that it just frees up the map and allows us to move around and do what we need to do to win the game. Excellent. Now, Carbon versus Final Boss is a storied rivalry. What is the next chapter between the two teams? Uh, I guess we'll have to find out, but uh, I think we're going to win. All right, Chris Puckett, back up to you. All right, thanks, Julie. So, Ogre 2, happy to have Pistola on the team. It frees them up to do whatever they want, it seems like. But, guys, now it's time to talk about their opponent tonight. They'll be in blue. It's Team Carbon. And Carbon, they didn't struggle at all today. They steamrolled their previous round with a 3-0 sweep. Yeah, they dominated Illuminati. But I really feel like Carbon hasn't been tested against a top team as of yet. They're going to play a top juggernaut, final boss now. Let's see how they can fare against top competition. And, you know, I think they're going to fare pretty well. With the, if final boss is the least bit passive, Nated is going to go off, and I expect him to do so. Uh, well, speaking of Nated, he is plus what? Plus 43 for the tournament. He's dominating bucket and he's feeling good right now he's down on the floor with julie well i sure hope he's feeling good nated you're on carbon you're off carbon now you're back on carbon again what is it about this team that just keeps you coming back uh, i just love playing on this team i love team with dave brandon and uh, it's my home here i love playing on it all right well it's good to feel at home now is the addition of pistola over there on final boss does that intimidate you at all does that bring a factor into this competition tonight uh, I don't really care, to be honest. I'm just going to play my game. I don't really care what players they have on their team. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Ogre, too. As far as a storied rivalry between these two teams, what is the next chapter, in your opinion? <sighs> Probably a 3-0, Carmen. Going for the sweep. You heard it here first. Nated sounds confident. Puckett, back up to you. All right, you got to love the confidence out of Nated. Uh, Ogre 2, he's a little wishy-washy. Nated knows what he's coming for. He's coming for the kill, guys. Yeah, and that's the, exactly how you got to look at things, and I'm happy because he's on the Carbon Squad. He's got to do my name justice. Uh, and earlier, you talked about how our 2009 juggernauts weren't in it. Well, these are our original juggernauts. Final Boss and Carbon, both dynasties in their own right. This is going to be some good Halo. All right, well, a huge matchup is coming up next. We're coming to a quick commercial break, but when we come back, game one, capture the, f capture the flag on Neros is next. 